in the last lecture, we have already seen that how to implement the edge detection using Sobel operators. Now, here also, we are going to deal with uh, um, Sobel derivatives. Now, the thing is that in the last class, in the last uh, practical, our output data type is cb dot cb underscore eight or you can say np dot uint eight. But there is a slight problem with that, and what is that? Black to white transition is taken as positive slope, means it has a positive value, while white to black transition is taken as a negative slope. So black to white is taken as positive slope, but white to black is taken as negative slope. That is negative value. Now, when you convert data to NP UINT8, all negative slopes are made zero. In simple words, we may miss the edge. So some edges may miss in the last case or in the last practical. Now, we, if we want to detect both hedges, better option is to keep the output data type to some higher forms, like cv .cv underscore one six s or you can say cv uh, underscore 64 app. So, it takes absolute value and then convert back to cv underscore atu. Got it? So, the thing is that we are taking some uh, means lesser uh, output or data type, right? But when some uh, means some edges are missing in the last cases, and we want to uh, means keep it, or we want to uh, have better edge detection, then we have to keep the output data type into some higher form. So that's why in this uh, class, in this means coding part, we are going to use this higher one, 64 app. Well, it will be more clear if I will show you the implementation part. And for that, I'm going to open Spider. Just a minute. Well, you can see here, import numpy as NP, import numpy as NP for array-based operation, import CV to SCV for open CV, and then we need plotting, so that's why from matplotlib import 5.s plot. Now, this is the original image. Location is this one cb.imrit, location of that image cb.imrit underscore gray. Now, output data type in this case is cb underscore atu. Okay, for that first case, I have considered that. Now, for that, so well. X A two C B so well image original image C B underscore A two one zero K size five. So this is the case where uh, we have taken the output data type as the A two. Okay. Now let's try to take the output data type as C B underscore sixty four F. Then it take it take take uh, the absolute value and convert it back to the C B underscore A two. So, Sobel X64F, where we are keeping CV, Sobel image, original image, CV dot CV underscore uh, 64F10, K size web. Only thing we have the means uh, sense here is the output data type. It's a small sense that is CV dot CV underscore 64F. Initially, it was CV dot CV score under uh, score CV underscore ATU. Got it now? Why we are taking? Now we can directly convert it to uh, the uh, means. Uh, a, a2 using the absolute value. So for that, what we are taking? We are taking the variable abs underscore sovel 64f, where we are keeping the value of np dot absolute. Absolute of what? This value. Sovel x 64f. Right, we have calculated. And now, what we have, uh, we are doing? This value, this absolute value, we are keeping it in a2. So how we are doing it? NP UINT8 access of L 64F. So in the UNIT8 form, means this data type, we have converted VEG and we are keeping it Sobel A2. So I hope you have got the whole procedure. Initially, we are keeping the A2 and then we keep 
as 64th. Then we have found out the um, absolute value and the, the UNT8 of this is capped in the Sobel underscore ATU. So other things are very simple. We are uh, going to have three subplots for that. We are using plot subplot 1T1, <coughs> sorry, in plot dot imso ims cmp gray. Okay, gray version. Now, original image with x click and y ticks. Similarly, 1T2, the A2 version. Okay, then similarly, 1T3, the 64A version, but it is uh, being absolute value found out and then they are uh, means converted back into A2. Now you can see the difference. Okay, so let me run this file up to this portion so that I can show you the code. See, this is the original image and this is the uh, Sobel 6B underscore ATU, Sobel ABS CB underscore 64F. If you want to have a clear look of this uh, output, then you can run this part of code also. Just a minute. Okay, so for that, select this part and run this. See, this is the output. This is the ATU, this is the 64 app, and this is the original image. So as detected clearly, I hope we have got it. If we, uh, if I want to show you the last program's output, then just a minute. Last program in the last class, what I have described. Um, just a minute. I'm closing this. Okay, this one is the last output. Right? But there are one more operator we have used, Laplacian one. Otherwise, these are the outputs. Okay, guys, I hope uh, now you have got it. This is just an option to you, what you want to use. Otherwise, you can directly go for uh, the ATU version. But sometimes whenever you want the uh, edges to be very precise, but it may not be uh, means uh, equally important for all cases, right? Sometimes we have to consider the complexity part also because some more complexity being added. So in such cases, it is totally your option that would, what you want to use. Okay. Yeah. So with this, I'm ending this session. If you have any doubt, then please feel free to ask me. And we'll meet in the next class. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.